According to the 2011 National Population and Housing Census, more than 6,050 out of the 33,192 households are involved in agriculture in the Ojodonjuba region. The Ogakarara constituency has over 87,970 cattle, 30,156 sheep, 40,717 goats, thousands of donkeys and horses, as well as other domestic animals. It is against this backdrop that Councillor Vetarwe Gwandorodu stressed that he does not believe that farmers in the Okakarara constituency, in particular and in the communal area south of the cordon fence, in general who for years had made a living from animal husbandry, cannot farm with crops to produce their own food. I'm totally not convinced that our farmers are not crop farmers. They are only cattle headers or looking after cattle only. It's just that maybe they were prior exposed to that. Thus, I'm requesting your office, Honorable Minister, to create an awareness program about crop farming in this area. The importance of food, the importance of food security is vital to anybody. Where we can have a backyard garden with um, carrots, tomatoes, cabbage, and so on. So thus our farmers, our inhabitants in Okakarara, they must also benefit from these very important skills and these very important uh, activities of crop farming. Echoing the councillor's sentiments, Mutorwa said his ministry is there for all Namibians and therefore it is up to the people in the country to make use of its services and opportunities it offers. If we have farmers here, individuals, who will inform us through the extension directorate, through your office, through the governor's office to say, in Oka Karara, for example, there are people who have cleared land, maybe to produce maize or mahangu, when the rain comes. And they want government assistance in terms of tractors and, 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 and seeds, seeds, fertilizers. We call it the rain fed program. Government assists with that. It's not confined only to specific regions, even here, it can be done, it can be done. But first, let us know that yes, there are people, they've got their, their, their fields, people will come and see those fields, the, 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 the stumps are not there so that when the tractor comes, then they can be assisted. And that's what we want to encourage throughout the Republic of Namibia, that we have a, you know, diversification of our agricultural products. Meanwhile, Gandorodu further maintains that his office, jointly with other stakeholders, are considering to establish a meat processing plant because of the big number of livestock in that area. We want to complete the livestock chain. We only talk about looking after the cattle, breeding session, growth, and then to the auction. And after that, we are not in control of the livestock. So thus, the farmer themselves must also complete the whole curtain. So the beef processing plant in this area, vis-a-vis -vis the number that have been alluded by the Honorable Minister, will have a positive impact to the livelihood of the people of Okakarara and the entire country. The plant, Gandorodu believes, will contribute significantly to the socio-economic development of the country.